टॉपिक पीर इलाही बख्श कॉलोनी बाय फैजुल निसा वन फाइन डे एट अबाउट नाइन इन द मॉर्निंग आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ गेटिंग डाउन अ लॉन्ग वेरी लॉन्ग लेडर वन एंड ऑफ दिस लेडर वॉज ऑन द शिफ्ट फ्रॉम विच आई वॉज कमिंग डाउन विद माई पेरेंट्स द अदर एंड वॉज टचिंग द बीच वेर द रिलेटिव ऑफ द पैसेंजर्स वर्ड एंशियसली वेटिंग फॉर देयर अराइवल द शिप वॉज दमरा विच सेल्ड बिटवीन बॉम्बे एंड कराची इन द अर्ली फिफ्टीज bringing cargo as well as passengers i still remember how excited i was to see my two brothers who had come to receive us at kemadi on the way home my brother told my father we have bought a house in peer ilahi baksh colony the first residential place for those who have newly arrived in karachi sind was re- receiving us with open arms On reaching home I found that the house was new. It had two rooms, two verandas and an open space at the back. The days soon passed and darkness started when the soft sweet sound of tinkling of bells was heard. I ran towards the window and was overjoyed to see a long row of camels. Small bells hung from their necks creating music as the camels moved gently into the night. These camels had come from Malir with a supply of fresh vegetables for the sabzi mandi and were going back now only to return early in the next morning Within a few days I had become familiar with people in and around my lane Our next door neighbor was a school teacher who had migrated from Ambala with his three sons and three daughters In the row of houses in front of ours were two families from Lahore which had settled in Karachi as they hoped for better business prospects here. The city being the capital of the new country Pakistan. In another house lived an old couple from Delhi who lived with their two grandchildren. The parents of the children had been killed on the train on the way to Lahore from Delhi. The days in the summer were hot, but evenings were pleasant due to the cool and refreshing breeze. At night, especially moonlight nights, people enjoyed being in their angans on their charpoys. Near the bus stops of every locality, one could find a few big and many small shops. where people would go to buy grocery at the milk shop we could always see a number of people enjoying lassi with pera wood was also sold as fuel in a wood shop i could see a big wooden balance to weigh one mound 40 sears at a time i remember my friend and i had sat in it once and the shopkeeper had announced together both of these girls wears 40 sears and everyone there laughed in those days the people of karachi led simple life they had enough time to see their relatives neighbors and friends and sharing discussing and solving problems used to be a regular affair god bless our city so that its people may live here happily ever after